What's up everybody, welcome to my very first tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. I am very excited about doing these tutorials. I've been waiting to do these for a very long time, but uh, the specs on my computer were not up to actually recording at a good level. So I actually built a brand new computer, which is awesome and should record this just fine. In case you don't know what Adobe Premiere Pro is, it's a video editing program. In in my opinion, it's one of the best video editing programs there is out there. So uh, enough of the small talk, and let's get started with this bad boy. So as you can see, if you've been paying attention to my last videos, I recently upgraded to Vista from uh, my old XP. I accidentally had my old computer sitting right next here beside me, but uh, for these tutorials, I'm just going to stick with my uh, new computer since it's a lot better. So go ahead and click and open Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, it may be under uh, all programs depending on uh, how often you use it, but since I use mine a lot, it's right in the start menu. So go ahead and click that, and it's going to go ahead and start the load. Yours might take a lot longer, but uh, mine pops right up. So and as you can see the first thing that you always see when opening this program is it says welcome to adobe premiere pro and it has all of your projects what you are going to want to do is go ahead and click a new project if you don't already have one but since i already started one uh, and i named it myrtle beach i'm gonna go ahead and click that now if you do click new project you're gonna have a bunch of settings to choose from just click ok because you want all of the default settings but um that's in case i mean unless you know specifically that you want to change something but uh 99 percent of the time you just want to go ahead with the defaults now once you open it up you take a look around and it's uh kind of overwhelming because there's about eight thousand things and you have no idea what any of them are so uh before we start going around the interface and me showing you what everything is which i will do I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to actually get video on here since it's a lot easier to show you than just telling you. So let's work through it instead of me just uh, telling you what everything does. Now before we even start to think about getting video on here, there are two very important things. Actually one important thing that I'm going to tell you right now. All of the video you work with, it must be saved directly on your computer. You can't hook your camera up to your computer and start editing video from there. You have to first put the video on your computer somewhere and save it. Now there are two different ways to get video in Adobe Premiere Pro. If it's already on your computer, you can go to File, Import, and find it somewhere. But the easiest way is probably go to My Computer or Desktop and find it from there. But most of the time, if you're like uh, making YouTube videos with your camcorder, Here's what you do. Hook up your camcorder directly to your computer using Firewire or a IEEE port and go up to file. Actually, before you even go to that, make sure your camcorder is turned on play. Not the setting you use when you're recording video, but play like you want to watch it. Go all the way to the beginning of your video and just stop your video now go to file capture and once you do that these bit buttons down here will be lit up and in case you don't know this is the program or the device that allows adobe premiere to capture video directly from your camcorder to adobe premiere pro forget about the middleman yes it's actually that easy so once you have it hooked up all these buttons are going to be lit up especially this one record and stop you're gonna want to go ahead and hit record now if you're thinking alright do I need to press start on my camcorder or do I need to stop it when I stop it no you don't need to do any of that all you need to do is hit record right here and it will automatically start playing on your camcorder yes it's actually that amazing because technology nowadays is just awesome so once you hit record your camcorder will actually start playing and your video will start recording on here now once you want to stop just go ahead and hit stop 
and it'll make a clip for you and it'll stop on your camcorder how awesome is that now after you're done with that it'll probably ask you to name your clip so go ahead and enter a name for your clip uh... the default name is probably like something like the date a bunch of numbers a bunch of stuff you can't even understand but uh... name it something memorable like uh... me jumping off my house or uh... Some, you know something that you would put on youtube just to make it easily understandable now once you're done with this you don't have to save it or anything just hit close and as you can see all of the clips are automatically imported to your project panel see working with this is almost too easy to learn so that's the only problem with it now as you can see i named mine Myrtle 1, 2, 3, and 4 since this whole uh, video was about 20 minutes long I wanted to split it up so I split mine up into four different videos that are about five minutes long so uh, actually before we learn how to put it on the timeline or anything like this just uh, study this tutorial and make sure you know how to open Adobe Premiere Pro and try to capture some video or if you hard, already have it on your computer it's all that much easier so in the next tutorial probably going to be learning our way around what all this stuff actually means and i'm going to be actually start making our first movie so i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned a little something at least and uh thanks for watching